What's up, YouTube family? So it's been a while since I've done a video on the Plymouth Arrow. So it's about time to do one. Um, you know, winters are long here in New York, so I haven't really had the time to do anything much on it till now, recently. But I figured let's do a nice little walk around of what I've done. As you all know, anybody has been paying attention, that's the original 1980 Arrow Grill that came in from Canada. The engine, I was going to rebuild and do some stuff to it. It's running really strong besides, you know, minor, you know, just minor stuff that needs to probably be done. <clears throat> There's no leaks like on my driveway, but there is, it does burn oil. So uh, the windshield wipers don't work. I bought a new motor and it's, it's not the, uh, it's not the motor. It's got to be the, um, it's got to be this mechanism here, you know. So anyway, but let's just walk around. I, uh, I tried to <laughs> buff this out, which the same thing happened to me. I was filling up. I couldn't believe that it was already full. I kept adding more thinking, ah, something's wrong. And of course I overflowed it. <laughs> So this car goes a long way for 25 bucks. I can tell you that right now. All right, so the back, I'm actually, I just ordered <clears throat> these hydraulic lift, uh, those hydraulic lifters. So I'm gonna put those in so I don't have to use the paint pole. <clears throat> so, uh, here is the spoiler I got. I exchanged the Dodge Challenger spoiler on it for this one with the guy that I met. I think he was in Canada too. If I'm not mistaken. Um, his name was Dave. But anyway, so I painted it. Still needs another coat. I, uh, I popped off this cover, which I have, and I, uh, let's take a look. I patched. patch the holes there were holes from the louvers that were here that went here and then these holes are from the spoiler that were on here so anyway I'm gonna um, sand it rattle can it myself because this car needs another it needs a new paint job you know it's it's w with this gas stain and just little minor floors, flaws on the door. Can't really see it, but I mean, here's a good one. You know, little stuff like that. Well, the car is not perfect by any stretch, <clears throat> but it's in great shape. Um, this is the pretty side. <laughs> Looks pretty good this side. Uh, as you guys know, I did the hood. The color didn't really match, but it had a rust spot and I fixed it. The, um, what I'm thinking I'm probably gonna be doing is selling it. And that's why I'm doing this little bit of a video. Why am I selling it? Why would I sell it after I, I bought it and fixed it up and cleaned it up? I put a new clutch in it. I did a tune up, you know, some work. Well, let me show you why I'm gonna sell it. I am getting my dream car. The Plymouth Fire Arrow is coming to me. And I can't have all these cars. <laughs> I love this arrow, it's great. And I don't wanna get rid of it, but I have a one car garage here and I'm probably gonna to have to rent a garage to put these other cars in, which I'm okay with, but I don't know how many arrows I can have. Now, this car, um, I got a lot of money into it. And so I'm not gonna to wanna to just give it away. It's gonna to have to go to somebody that really 
really cares. I mean, the guy that had it before me tried to make it into a Dodge Challenger. I brought it back to a Plymouth Arrow. And since I do, um, you know, try to do a lot of uh, body work and clean up and stuff like that. Uh, these are not the original seats here at all. I've been trying to get original seats. I put these covers on them. <clears throat> these seats in the back seem to be original. But, but what I did, I put in a beautiful stereo system. Speakers to match the fill in the front. And then the back. And this is Bluetooth and it's got the hands free. Um, I did not want to spend the money I spent for it. I just told my guy, yeah, let's do it. And then he gave me the, and I also took off the um, cluster and put in some new uh, bulbs in there. I cleaned out the vents cause they were loaded with dust. But when I got the bill after he put the bulbs in for me and the stereo system, it was $2,500. <laughs> A car I bought for 5,000. I put about $1,500 in it with the clutch and everything else, and then a $2,500 stereo system. And needless to say, <laughs> it's not what I planned on doing. Um, let me get my keys here. But um, I love this car, this car is awesome. Let me see if I can pop this up, hold on, all right. Yeah, it's got this subwoofer and it's just awesome. I mean, it, it's really, it's just really loud. If you like music, it's great. But I don't think I would ever do that again. None of my other cars will get a stereo system for $2,500. My Z doesn't have it and I don't plan on doing that. Um, but what's unique about this, this arrow, it has, a choke <laughs> so to start it when it's cold you got to pull the choke out okay now I already had it started today um, so I don't have to choke it much but well it's in gear it's got a high idle you gotta lower that anyway shut it off because my stereo system is going to kick on uh kicks on so the car uh the other thing that doesn't work is the odometer been stuck at 42 miles i don't know what the mileage is on the engine but what i was going to do anyway is restore the engine you know do a uh resto on it like get new seals and whatever else it needs gaskets but the car runs awesome it runs great so i'm doing a, a little video here so everybody can see sort of where we're at with the arrow now, here's another little flaw you know the paint the guy that did the paint job i, I don't think he put a clear coat on it uh if he did he put a very thin one on it not great um, it doesn't have the bumperette, which it's sort of impossible to get. I was going to have somebody uh, do a 3D, um, one of those 3D ones, you know. I guess you can do it nowadays with technology. Uh, so, and I was going to take these off and paint them. They're a little pitted, scratched. But that's what I was going to do, you know. But uh, somebody gives me, makes me a... a good offer for the car it's yours um so that's where i'm at i'm gonna put the uh the spoiler on here which is gonna look real cool too hold on again bear with me let's take it out i'm actually working on this this like sort of like so 
I'm just gonna leave it on there so it doesn't fall. But yeah, that's the original spoiler, which is impossible to find. The guy I got it from had it for 30 years. He got it from Japan. This is the original spoiler, impossible to find, that belongs on this car. And it's gonna look awesome. Take this off in case it slides. And I'm gonna just take this custom paint. It's close enough, it's not perfect. Can't really tell, it's gonna be darker. But this is called Plum Crazy Purple. Um, so since, um, since you're not gonna really see much of it because the spoiler covers it, you're just gonna have it here. It's gonna hit that up. But if somebody wants this car, I would recommend to make it really beautiful, get the original seats, or get seats that are gonna work. The seats are fine. They're just, you know, I think it needs the seats. I would do the engine go through, maybe a, an upgrade to it, whatever. And it's 1.6 and a paint job. This car will last you forever. I mean, these cars are awesome. So, with that being said, <clears throat> that's where we're at. I was never intended to, to sell it, but since this fire arrow is coming my way in a couple of months, I can't have them both. Just can't do it. But I've put a lot of love into this car and I plan on doing a lot more, but due to, due to all the money I got into it already, you know, I did tint too, new tint, which just makes it really look cool. Gotta have the tint. Because these, the glasses, you know, it's old. And with the black, it just looks nice. Look at that. This car turns heads. <laughs> what I love about this car is got the chrome there's really not much rust on this car. Uh, there's only a spot, if that. I can't remember where it was. I'm gonna try to try to find it. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Where the heck was it? Somewhere. Yeah. Well. It's a little bit, like not even a, it's just starting to go. Like, there's like no rust, man. <sighs> really, there is like no rust. I can't remember what the heck it is. I mean, it's not even a hole. It's just a little spot that needs to be uh, sanded. But anyway, if you're watching this video, Make me an offer. If you want the car, if not, I'll put it out there. You'll see it on Facebook, eBay, whatever. But, and I might not get rid of it. I might hold on to it. That's where we're at. Everybody have a good weekend. Talk to you soon.